Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Slaterella. This is one of 13 looks that I'm doing for the month of October. This is a look that was inspired by somebody on Instagram. Her name is Typical White Girl SFX. She is so amazing. I will leave everything linked down below, but this is my version that was inspired from her look that she posted. I hope that you guys enjoy. Subscribe to my channel before you leave, and let's go ahead and get started on this video. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is start off by gluing down our brows and applying foundation. Next, I'm taking a hot pink shade and actually contouring my face the way that I normally would. But when I say contour, girl, you are gonna go to town with this pink. You are gonna contour and then some. Take that all over my body, again, the way that I normally would contour. And then I'm taking a darker pink to go in and just deepen some of those areas. And then you can see on my forehead, I actually went in with the lighter pink originally to create that V-like shape. And now I'm actually taking a fluffier blending brush, a smaller one, to create that V on my forehead and to deepen it. That way when we place those horns on our forehead, it won't look so out of place. I'm taking that brush that we were using before to contour to just blend out any harsh edges. And then I'm taking what's left on the brush and contouring some smaller detailing areas. Next, I'm taking a hot pink shadow and just buffing out my crease. I'm almost taking the shade all the way up to my brow or where my regular brow would be. So you can take it as high or as low as you would like. And then I'm taking that magenta shade that we used on our face to deepen the contour on my lid all over. After that, I took a brown just to deepen out the outer corner of my eye. And then I went in pretty ham with the highlight. This look, you guys, is seriously so extra. So whenever you think there's too much, add more. That's literally my motto the entire time I was doing this. Like, the highlighter, like if I thought it was too much, I went in with another layer. And I think it really, really made the effectiveness of this look, you know, the way that it should be because sometimes I'm so afraid of adding too much that I don't always add as much as I should. So I kind of got out of my comfort zone with this look and I really liked it. After that, I took a smaller detailing brush just to kind of darken up some of those smaller areas to make my lips look a little bit bigger, more full. And then I went in with some lashes and I actually glued down one of my horns. I took these flowers that I bought at the craft store and actually like legitimately destroyed them so that I could layer them the way that I would want them to look. And these were a inch and a half to put on, seriously. Like it took me forever to glue these flowers onto my face. I actually made these horns out of Model Magic, which is super inexpensive and super light air drying clay and then just painted them with acrylic paint. Went ahead and took those flowers onto my body and then added some leaves just to kind of make it look a little bit more cohesive. Added some glitter underneath my eyes as well as around these leaves on my face. That way, again, it looks more cohesive and these flowers on my chest don't look out of place. And I did like the white flowers on my face, but once I added that pink hair color to my hair, I wanted the look to be more pink, more cohesive. Ugh, I'm just loving that word tonight, aren't I? So I went ahead and just actually colored those white flowers in with the pink hairspray. Added some more mascara as well as a nude lipstick onto my lips. And then I actually kind of went in with my finger to buff it out, almost smoke it out. And then I went in with a clear lip gloss. But that completes this look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. I am putting out 13 looks, or at least trying to put out 13 looks for the month of October. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. I love you so, so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.